You may be like me and fish out of your own boat 90% of the time, but if you travel around or even if you occasionally fish as a co-angler, you should probably have what I call a bug out bag or just a, a go bag, something that's packed with the basics that you're going to need on that upcoming trip. We go to Mexico a ton. You may not go to Mexico, but maybe you do a Canadian fly-in trip every year. It was more confusing when I was going to Mexico three times a year. Now I'm going once or maybe twice. So it gives me more time in between trips, but that also gives me more time to forget what I may need. At the end of every trip, I make a list of the things that are depleted down there and that I need to bring back. And I keep it on my computer when I get home. And when Tackle Warehouse has a sale, I try to stock up on those things so I can bring them down with me on my next trip. But if you put them away on the pegboard behind you, there's a pretty good chance you're gonna forget them. So as you can see, I have in the front of my garage, one of the first things when you come in, it looks like an absolute mess, and it pretty much is an absolute mess of boxes and bags and things like that. But there's this green bag that goes home, goes to Mexico, and goes back. It's sort of my mule for carrying things across the border. Some things I have ready to go that you can do the same as a co-angler. I have certain amounts of terminal tackle that always go back and forth with me. I know I could leave my tackle down there. Indeed, we do leave a ton of tackle down in Mexico. But there's something about leaving tungsten down there. Even though we've never had anything stolen or destroyed, you have a little box of tungsten like this, and it's worth about $500. So my go bag, it's not entirely packed with the things I'm going to bring down there because there are some one-of-a-kind things, some discontinued top waters or glide baits that cost $150 or $200 that I'll be using here in Virginia. But when things come from Tackle Warehouse that I know are just going to Mexico exclusively for Mexico's use, or if they're duplicative items, they go straight into the bag. So I had this bag ready to go for no other purpose than those Mexico trips. Let's look inside and see what's there. First thing, some of these Bass Mafia Chris Saldane swim baits. Actually, these are Hannah's. Don't tell her that I have them in my bag. Uh, she won these at the Bass Fishing Hall of Fame dinner. Anxious to try them. We have another couple bags that we're going to use here in Virginia, but figured it made sense to put at least one bag down there for big fish country. There's also this 9-inch Berkeley Nessie. My friends at Berkeley sent me a bunch of them. I've used the 5-inch, which I didn't like so much, the 7-inch, which I liked a little bit more. Hoping this 9-inch has a little more kick to it. I'm pretty excited about it. That's the perfect place to test it out. You know, I'm not a swim bait expert by any means, but bringing some of these bigger baits down there, obviously it gives you confidence. And if you use my 80-20 rule, just 20% of the day for new lures and 80% for proven winners, that proves to be a pretty good mix. Also have some Vision 110s that my brother just brought me back home from Japan in exchange for watching his dog. That's a win. They're, this is the KVD, actually, the KVD Elite. These are Vision 110s in those special colors. Colors that you can't get in the U.S. So I figured that's another thing I need to bring down there. We're always going through jerk baits, More so in the winter than during our June trips, but we've had a couple of June trips where they've done really well. Also have my scale. I use that um, Brecknell Samson scale, like the one that they use in MLF. Never leaves this bag ready to go. I have another scale in my boat at home. Some of these Crush City Bronco Bugs, that's one of their new Jacob Wheeler plastics. This is the one that I thought would be best for down at El Salto, either for a jig trailer or when we go in June to flip on some deep trees. We do pretty well flipping those big hardwoods on the edge of the river channel with a one ounce weight. Speaking of the one ounce weight, I have two of these Duo Realis boxes. One of them has tungsten exclusively, and one of them has worm hooks exclusively. Now the tungsten box is not completely full right now because I do have some weights that I, I need to have here at home. That will get filled up before we go. This hook box is pretty good though. It has a lot of 5 aughts, 6 aughts, some straight shanks here, sizes that I don't use as much at home. I use a 5 aught at home, but the 6 aught and bigger tend to get used more down there than they ever do up here. Also have some soft plastics. I know that I have plenty of Senkos down there, but on our last trip we had fun with this Tilapia Magic Color. So I figured I'd bring 12 bags of those. There's someone who's always running out of Senkos down there. You can never have too many, even when you have hundreds. Get on a good bite. It's not unrealistic to go through 100 in a day. Let's hope that happens. Let's hope I come back with these bags completely empty next trip. Also have this new Yamamoto Ichi Worm. That's their 10 inch worm in a plum apple color. See if it does as well as the power one. I don't see why it would. Everything Yamamoto makes 
is top notch and these should float up a little bit off the bottom and be highly visible. This is the Depths Sakamata Shad and while I leave most of my soft plastics down there I've learned in recent years to be really careful with fluke style baits. This is not something I'm likely to use at home but the fluke style baits if they get bent in the bag they're pretty much ruined. I mean I guess you can boil them in the bag but that's really not going to happen when you're down there at a fishing lunch. couple of spinner baits that I bought. I actually bought these at Baitworks in Missouri. I had never seen this brand before. It's Tactical Bass. Trophy Bass? I don't know. I need my glasses, obviously, because I can't read. TBC. They look a lot like the Oldham spinner baits that are real popular down at El Salto and Picacho, so I figured I'd get a couple of those in a three-quarter ounce size, add them to the collection. Always recommend getting a couple of these little bags. This is a Sunline one that I got as a gimme. This was at the dollar store or Walmart for a dollar. You don't want to throw stuff into this bag willy-nilly because you're going to lose it, particularly smaller items like terminal tackle. So I threw all the terminal tackle that I'm bringing down in here. I got some big Buckeye jig heads. I got some Strike King underspins. Some lighter Strike King heads. 100 5 hot worm hooks. Some shaky heads, believe it or not. More of the Buckeye Jig Heads. And I'm real excited about these. These are Matt Steffen's Core Tackle Swim Bait Heads. This is a bigger insert weight. I've done well with some of the insert weights in the past, but I've just been real impressed with everything Matt Steffen has done. I've been messing around with his hover rig lures. I like them quite a bit. Finally, I have two Plano boxes that are dedicated to Mexico. This one you can see has nothing in it. Some top waters and smaller baits will go in there later. This one has all of the crankbaits that I stocked up on after we returned from our June trip. So I should be ready to go. It has 6XDs, 8XDs, 10XDs, dredgers, a couple square bills. It's loaded for bear. And obviously I can fit a lot more in it. I've used girls hair bands around the hooks so they won't stick together and you can just pick out one bait at a time. Makes life a lot easier. And in fact, I even have a Ziploc bag full of those hair bands so before we go home, I can get all the baits organized again so they won't be stuck together in a nasty mess when I get home. It may look like a nasty mess on the deck of the boat right now, but having one of these go bags is a lifesaver. It never goes any place but Mexico or home. You know you're ready to go. You know when new tackle comes in exactly where it goes so it doesn't end up lost somewhere on this pegboard or in your boat. That makes it much easier to pack for your next trip. I, I highly recommend that wherever you're going, if you go someplace special every year or a couple times a year, have one of these bags ready to go and it'll make life much easier and much more organized and it'll help you catch more fish.